Hello everyone and welcome to this very short demonstration of this filter bot that I made myself for Gothamon's Little Deformer 3 or Urano or I suppose also other Gothamon devices that can take those uh, filter boards. So yeah, this is how it looks like. I took an Accutronics Digilog reverb block and created a very simple PCB, got the right connector here, and now I can just plug it into the Little Deformer 3 or my Urano and have a very clean reverb, like a spring reverb. Um, it's of course digital and it's not uh, super high end, but it's actually quite nice. I really enjoy the sound. So um, yeah, let's uh, have a look at it. Right now on the screen here, I've put it in uh, VCF2 mode. So the filter board sits in VCF slot 2. There are four different parameters. We have a feedback, which is just literally a feedback path. So the audio goes from the output back into the input of the reverb. Then there's a depth parameter. That's basically the reverb length. Um, there's a dampening parameter, which just switches on or off and which can, you know, elongate the reverb or make it a little shorter, a little snappier. And then, of course, we have a wet, dry knob. Um, of course, you can modulate all those three parameters on the, um, on the potentiometers. Uh, so you can, you know, map them to your edit knobs or to LFOs or something else. The switches down here are not modulatable, but that's, you know, usually the case, um, as you already know from the other filter boards that you have in the devices. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna hit play. Very simple sequence, the bass line and a kick drum sample playing. And now I'm just gonna increase the wet parameter. So this is now just the Accutronics Digilog reverb filter port that sits inside the Deformer 3. This is 100% wet, this is just the reverb alone. And like I said, it's a spring reverb simulation. Well, that's what it's supposed to be in this small digital block. zero so this is just the original sequence and now with reverb I'm gonna stop it right here for a moment and now let's just have a look at the depth parameter I'm gonna set it to the middle there and I'm just gonna press the voice one button and now when I increase depth It uh, yeah fades out a lot longer. It's a subtle effect. Um, short, long. So the decay is quite abrupt at the beginning, but then on the lower end, it just fades out quite a bit longer. And this is a feature of the reverb block, actually. Short. still going. Okay, so let's try that out with the kick drum. Okay, maybe because of the low frequency it's actually not that well audible, but yeah. So the depth knob um, controls the length of the reverb and feedback. Like I said, it's like a real analog feedback path. So that gets a little crunchy when you turn it up. Zero. And now when you add depth to it, you can actually make a self oscillator. So this is just the reverb now self oscillating. And there are like some very nice sweet spots there. Of course, you can modulate those parameters. So yeah, it's an interplay between the feedback and the depth parameter. Feedback will make the sound a little crunchier, but it usually doesn't self-oscillate that quickly. When you add depth, then it starts to really sing on its own. So lastly, there's the damp parameter. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. This is normal, wet, 50% again. And now with dampening on. 
So the reverb tail gets uh, reduced quite a bit there. I'm gonna turn up the depth again. It's still going. And now with dampening on. I'm gonna start the sequence again. It's uh, a lot thicker without the dampening, the reverb. And now it's dampened a bit. I can just turn it up to 100% wet. Like almost like there's like a, a high pass filter a little bit on it. Yeah, low pass filter, sorry. And yeah, it won't uh, self oscillate really when dampening is on, but it will, you know crunch the reverb up quite a bit. And this is the original sequence again. Okay, so that's it for this short demonstration of my self-built filter board. Well, it's not actually a filter board, it's a reverb board, a digital spring reverb. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a comment, uh, write me an email, uh, check on modweekler.com. There are threads for Gotham devices where we can talk about these things. Of course, um, you are welcome to create your own filter boards and I look forward to what the community has to offer. I know for a fact that Mesca, for example, he is creating really cool filter boards um, and he's got some teasers that he shows on Modwigler. I'm going to link to some of his videos down below in the video description as well. So um, yeah, stay tuned and have a good evening, morning, day, whatever. See you soon.